Hey guys, it's Jen, and I am here to bring you a new video for Felicity Jane today. And every Monday, the design team does an inspired by post. And today, and often, like, we'll do something inspired by Pinterest or, you know, some something that we've seen um, out in the world. But today I wanted to go a little bit of a different route and um, show you how I was inspired by this older photo to tell a story. So... This is a 5x7 photo that I have of my daughter when she was maybe 6 or 8 months old. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it says right here, 10806. So she was about um, 7, no, she was 9 months old. And this face is cracking me up because she still makes a face that's like this when she has a, like, when I say something to her that she doesn't understand, she makes this exact face. So this photo inspired me to um, tell that story of her still making this face. So this is a little bit different and maybe it's cheating a little bit, but I'm going with it because I was inspired by this, this photo to tell that story. So let me just show you some of the things I pulled from this month's kit to possibly use on this layout. I don't know if I'll use all of them. I'll probably pull more things than this, but... Um, I plan to use this awesome, oops, this awesome paper that's got kind of, it's a darker pink down at the bottom and lighter at the top as my background paper. And then I am going to use these two papers as well. I plan to hand cut out some of these florals. I just think they're super pretty and I thought I would try to incorporate them. Um, and then, I'll, so that'll just take that will eliminate the blue aspect, which I'm not really wanting to include. And then I might use some of this paper. I haven't decided yet, but the backs of these papers are awesome too, so I might use the backs of them. Um, I This is an add-on, but um, at least I think it's an add-on, yeah. Um, these are the Maggie Holmes washi tape stickers, and they're just super cute, and I thought that they would be fun to kind of tuck into the layers on this layout. For my title, or for at least part of my title, I'm going to use these new Felicity Jane alphabet stickers. And so um, I have those in black. And then I have a few little die cuts that I pulled that they fell on the floor that I'm going to try to incorporate. I liked this one that had the days of the week. I didn't cut all of these apart because I thought I might use this as a whole together, like in a block, kind of to denote like she still does this today and this has the days of the week, so. Um, and I pulled the little skinny washi tape and the stamp set, which I might use um, in real life here for that or the heart this. Um, there's a lot of cute little stamps on there too. And then I will probably use some of these puffy stickers that are from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection as well. So I am going to start with that and I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and create this layout. So I'm just going to start by trimming off that um, little strip on the bottom and I'm looking through my die cuts here. I just have a bunch of my own cut files that I'm looking through because I knew I had one that said that face. And I thought about using it because it is similar colors to what I'm using um, on this layout. And I end up not using it, but it could have worked. Um, and that's available in my shop at craftygenscow.com. Just click on shop. And here I'm using some wax paper to lay out my title. So I'm having a long title and it's going to say she still makes that face. Um, what does it say? And I love it. She still makes that face and I love it. It's going to go down the whole right side of that photo there. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use these letter stickers for the whole thing or if I'm going to mix it with something else. Um, I will admit that I have two. <laughs> I have extras of these letter stickers. I just love them so much. And I did have to sneak into one of the other packages because I used so many of them um, of one letter. And so <laughs> um, now I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of these flowers because I know what I want to do with that and I'm not sure what I want to do with the title. So I've mentioned this before, but if I don't know what to do, I'll move on to something that I do know. So I'm just going to hand trim out some of these flowers and I really love the way they look tucked behind the photo. So I'm going to cut out a few um, and put some at the top left and some at the bottom right. So laying down these flowers is going to kind of help me decide where to put the rest of my embellishments. So if you get the larger elements of your of your layout done first, then that can help you know where to put everything else kind of. And that's how I'm 
operating on this layout. So I'm gonna put this larger floral uh, cluster down at the bottom and I'm cutting off most of the blue. I'm cutting pretty closely to the flowers because I don't want a lot of the blue to show. I want it to be just be more of the pink and the yellow and then the black and gray leaves. And so here you can see where I'm gonna tuck that up underneath the um, left or the right hand side of my photo and I'm gonna kind of let my title trickle down into where that that flower ends there. So I'm looking at the Maggie Holmes puffy stickers, which are amazing, I love them, and I'm trying to see if there's any words that I can use in my title, because I always like to have like one or two things that stand out or that that are a little bit different. Um, and so I'm just thinking about that, and while I'm thinking, I decide to map my photo on some white cardstock just to help it stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna play around with those florals a little bit to until I get them in a spot that I kind of like. And I'm gonna, I, I'm thinking about using those little blocks of cut aparts as a block, but I end up actually trimming those up. So I thought I might wanna use them all together like that, but I will end up trimming them up and just using some of the days of the week. So I'm looking at these letter stickers and trying to think of what I can say. And I also have the add on that is from the Jen Hadfield, the new Jen Hadfield collection from Pebbles, and it has a ton of ampersands. And so I'm gonna use a black one to um, spell out the rest of my title. So she still makes that face and I, and I'm using the word love from the puffy stickers, and then I'll go back to the Felicity Jane stickers for the word it. So it's a mixed title, but it's all black. So it, it has a consistency with a little bit of variation, and I really like that. And I keep getting distracted by that face. I love that face so much. I can't stop looking at it. That is the cutest face. I miss it. Um, I mean, I still see the face. That's what the layout's all about. But that little chubby cheeked um, baby, I miss it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay that title out. And now I'm going to start adhering everything down. So I'm going to adhere my photo first, but I'm leaving a little bit of space on the edges where I didn't put adhesive so that I can slide things underneath it. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to layer one of the um, photo or the flowers on top of the photo, but I decide to layer them underneath. So I'm going to lift up the edges of some of the leaves with some foam adhesive, and then um, just adhere the rest of the of the piece down with regular uh, a dot runner adhesive. So just playing around until I get that how I want. Oh, I'm not using my dot runner. I'm using the ThermoWeb tape runner. Now, I usually like dot adhesive, but this one goes on so smooth. I actually am starting to really like that one. Um, I still like a dot runner, but that um, ThermoWeb tape runner is pretty good. I like it. So right now I'm just cutting out another little piece of leaf to put in that top cluster. I felt like the bottom one was really free form, but the top felt a little bit uh, too... Um, contained and so I just wanted a little bit of that leafy goodness to go up there and so I'm just adding a piece and I have that leaf overlapping my daughter's head but I will end up tucking that underneath the photo I think after I'm all done so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my title stuck down and I love using the wax paper because it helps me lay everything out but um, I, I don't care if it's exactly perfect so I'm fine with uh, not having a ruler to line everything up, but I just want to make sure that the letters or the words start and stop in the right spots so that I can make sure that everything is center aligned, if that makes any sense. So as I mentioned, I'm using those Felicity Jane alphabet stickers and I love them. They're a great font. Um, you can get them in her shop at FelicityJane.com. She has black and white for now and I think she has plans of making other colors and they're just great. So I did have to dig into my second set of those for another T because I used so many um, and I made such a long title, but I really liked the way that the title turned out, so I'm glad I did it. Every once in a while, I like to do a really long title because it just brings impact to it. And that's like half the journaling right there. It could be the whole journaling if you wanted it to be. So now I'm pulling out some of the cut aparts and embellishments to see what I might be able to add to this. And I thought I might use those days of the week in a block like I mentioned before, but I end up cutting them up. And I really like the way that Wednesday, the yellow Wednesday pops right above the title because it brings some yellow 
into that corner. So now I've got a triangle of yellow. So what I am end up doing is creating like a little line of the days of the weeks down the page above and below the title. And the one that says Thursday kind of blends into the background and that's fine with me. I end up not including Sunday because it didn't fit at the top and at the bottom it was just there were two pinks next to each other so I didn't like that. So I'll just leave Sunday off of this. So those cut aparts are on sticker stock so I'm just peeling off the backing and sticking those down. And I'm overlapping some of them so they look like they belong together. And I end up um, tucking some of them in at the bottom and you can't see the whole entire word on some of them but that doesn't matter it's more about the idea of what it is and you just get the idea that it's the days of the week and so some of them are a little bit hidden like Saturday and that's totally fine with me so now I'm pulling out some puffy stickers and I like the one that says crazy because that face is crazy, like crazy cute, but also just kind of silly. And so um, I accidentally turned off the camera and did a few things uh, and forgot to turn it back on. So I ended up adding that puffy sticker crazy along with a few puffy stickers from the Maggie Holmes uh, puffy stickers on the left hand side of the photo. And then there are some die cuts that came in the kit and I am adding just a couple one next to the photo on the left that I just put there and then one that says happy. Oh no, the happy is from the cut apart sheet. And then there's one with a little heart it mixed in with the happy at the top there that is from the um, Maggie Holmes die cuts. And I just laid down two strips of washi tape. One came from the Maggie Holmes washi and then the other one is a black and white thin striped washi that we got in the kit. And I put a little bit at the top as well. Sorry that you missed all of that. I did also stamp three little hearts and I did it all next to the title and added a few other, the washi heart and then some die cuts. So now I'm just cutting apart my journaling strips which I just typed on my typewriter. And they're on kind of an off-white oatmeal -y colored cardstock that matches with the die cuts. And I'm sticking them right be below that one that says, with all my heart. Um, and I had added that in the time when I left as well. Sorry, I forgot to turn my camera back on. I felt really bad about that, but the show must go on. So I'm just gluing those down with some Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, which I have put in a fine line bottle. Those come empty and you fill them with whatever glue you want. And... I really like the way that turned out. I was so tempted to add some splatters, but I'm not going to. I think I just add one or two more things here. I don't know where I went. Okay, I went to grab a date stamp and I'm actually going to use my brand new Allie Edwards time stamp. And it has a spot that, because I can't stamp the date 2006 because none of my roller date stamps go back that far, um, the Allie Edwards roller stamp has like a, just a, you can just put the month and year and you can put set whatever numbers you want. So I used that and then I wrote photo 10 of 2006 and then journaling 3 of 2016. And then I stamped love this, which is from the Amy Tangerine roller stamp, which is in the Felicity Jane shop. And then I'm adding some staples to the puffy stickers. I really like the way puffy stickers look when you staple them because they kind of pucker up. And that is going to complete my layout. So I hope that you've enjoyed. Here are some close-up photos. If you have any questions, just head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com or head over to the Felicity Jane blog at felicityjane.com. And um, I will link to all available products below. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon.